Well, talk to us about the deflation. Are you seeing prices come down overall? Are you able to, in fact, pass that on to a consumer base? We've been in a really unique spot this year where the rest of the industry has had to navigate record inflation and it's forced them to take pretty meaningful price, price they've had to push on to the consumer, a consumer sentiment that's been shifting throughout the year. And we're in a very different spot at Wingstop. We've seen meaningful deflation this year in our core commodity, and that's allowed us to not have to take price. We've leaned into our proven value playbook and actually have some unique growth levels levers that we're leaning into that's allowed us to, to post that comp for the third quarter of 6.9%. And the thing that's really important to note about that comp growth is that the majority of that is coming through transactions, not pricing. Mm. Talk to us about some of those growth levers. It's interesting, the analyst over at Citigroup talks about how you have the right recipe in terms of a new chicken sandwich line, partnerships, and of course, a great ad presence to help you cut through the noise. Are those sort of the key opportunities that you see? We have some really unique growth levers. You, you named a few of them there, and they really center around the opportunity we have as a brand to bring new guests in, new occasions, whether that's accessing a new c customer base for delivery on Uber Eats platform or the chicken sandwich you mentioned. That brings in a new guest, a new occasion. And so we're able to drive our business and grow by capturing our share of those occasions. And these are drivers that we think will drive our business and drive growth for not just this current quarter, but for many quarters to come. And it really gives us confidence to be on track in 2022 for our 19th consecutive year of same store sales growth. Michael, with regards to the, the cost, and more importantly, I, not necessarily cost, but I guess more so the supply chain picture. We know how everything got out of whack uh, during the uh, pandemic, and there were some interesting moves uh, by the company. Of course, the whole uh, Thigh Stop brand, which I thought a lot of people sort of made fun of and poked fun of, but it was also a way for you to kind of manage uh, some of the supply chain disruptions by buying those whole chickens and, and making the most out of uh, the parts that were more economical for you. Are you still doing that? Do you still find a need for that? Or has the focus shifted back solely to just those wings? Yeah, we're focused on our core menu. I think just like any other company a year, year and a half ago, these poultry producers were having a challenge staffing their processing facilities, you know, improving hatchability rates, and all of that's gotten better. And it's led to plenty of supply out there that's resulted in this deflation we're enjoying. And that's something we're going to continue to lean in, and we know our guests reward us for that indulgent occasion that we offer uh, mm. to consumers. Talk to us about your guests and how willing they are to have have indulgent occasions right now? Because are you anticipating, are you waiting for people to trade down into your space and perhaps some of your lower income purchases stop buying? Yeah, Wingstop's in a very different position than most other brands in that our average frequency is once a month or three times a quarter. And so when consumers start to pull back or they feel pressure on their on their dining out occasions, they typically immediately go to those more higher frequency fast food QSR occasions, and then they'll save up for that indulgent Wingstop occasion. They almost feel like they deserve the opportunity to reward themselves because they they have saved, they have pulled back. And so we know in those 18, almost 19 years of same-store sales growth, that if we're presenting them with value and making sure that they, they get a great experience with Wingstop, we will retain those indulgent occasions. Talk to us more with some of the supply chain challenges, how you're seeking to control your own destiny, whether it be some of the vertical or more horizontal integration. Yeah, we see an opportunity, and I think the chart that was shown earlier where you saw the volatility in bone-in wings, we know that if we lean in and take more control of that supply chain, we can deliver a more predictable landed food cost for our franchisees that, again, will ultimately give them a more predictable cash flow, which will fuel unit growth, which we're at 1,900 units today. Yeah, That's both in the U.S. and outside of the U.S., but we see a line of sight to over 7,000 units for the brand. Uh, but 
But I am curious, uh, Michael, just real quickly here. We only got a couple a minute left here. Uh, to Caroline's question about the consumer, I mean, we've heard from McDonald's and some of the other uh, big uh, fast food chains, as well as some of the fast casual chains, this idea that they've seen consumers opting for value meals or, or basically kind of the cheaper products on the menu. And I'm wondering, is your uh, pricing structure right now at Wingstop set up in a way with their, where there is an opportunity for folks to trade down if that is what they need or they're capable of doing? Yeah, I think you hit on another really exciting element about this chicken sandwich that we just launched. It's not just a, a new menu offering, menu innovation, but we're doing it at a, at a very compelling price point. You can get our sandwich in one of our 12 bold distinctive flavors, and you can get it at a price point of $5.49, yeah. which includes a dip. Uh, and so we're, we do have value yeah. out there for the consumer that's helping them uh, right. continue to uh, to drive visits with Wingstop. All right, vegan Mike. dip, Romaine. No, no not vegan quite. dip for me. Well, I know Michael's not eating that vegan dip either. Michael, <laughs> great to have you. We're out of time here. Love to get you back on. Michael Skipworth there. He's the president and CEO of Taylor's favorite restaurant, Wingstop.